In Atomsphere, you can unit test integrations in a visual, real-time view of the document flow. We call this test mode, and it is in the Build tab. To enter test mode, click on the Test button, which is located at the top right hand of the Process Canvas. Test mode supports unit testing of a limited set of documents. Connectors only support the retrieval of 100 maximum document count or 10 megabytes of total data size. So let's run a test of our process to see how the Boomi document flow works. We're now going to run our process and examine our output. The way we test our process is we click on the blue test button. We're going to select our atom. We selected the test atom cloud. We're going to click run test, the green run test button. Process will now run. It is currently running. You can tell because there's a yellow halo and there is a circle. Everything runs successfully. The way we can tell is that there are two halos on your data. The halos are indicate they're green, which means that there are no problems. If the halo is red, then you have an issue. Let's take a look at our output. You'll currently notice that we have our square on our start shape. This means that our focus is on the start shape, so everything we see down here will be focused on the start shape. If I come over to connection data, I have two records that I retrieve. This is the first record. It's coming from ftp.boomi.com, port 21, the remote directory accounts, and this is the account-1.xml. If I click on this, you will see the XML. Formatted viewer is on. If you come on and it looks like this, the formatted viewer is off. You can just slide this over. I'm going to close the viewer. Just click on the second. You'll see your second record. When I click on the disk, it moves the when I click on the disk, it now moves the focus to the output. I have my file right here. If I click on it, this is my output. It tells me a file name. Look at the file name. The file name is just the date and time the process is ran. Dat. And then over here we have the size. Same thing for over here. We can click on view. This is the first one. It'll give you the XML. This is the file name. This is the date and time that the process is ran. And then all the way over here is the size. Now the file itself is in the work directory of the test atom cloud. So we need to use the document viewer, as you saw, to view the contents. We don't have physical access to the file because it is in the cloud. We need to save the contents to our physical drive. To download the file, we're going to copy and paste the information from the document viewer into a text editor, such as Notepad, and we're going to save it onto our hard drive, which we're going to use in the next activity to import. One of the things that you want to do before you copy and paste it into Notepad is you want to turn the formatting off. So now what I will do is I will highlight it, I will copy it, and I can now paste it into Notepad. If you're going to use Notepad, please make sure the formatting is off, otherwise it goes in incorrectly. What I'm going to do is save this to my hard drive. And I happen to I have a hard drive where I have a little folder called Boomi Out where I save my files, any of my notepad files, and I'm going to call this account.xml. I'm going to close notepad. I'm going to close the document viewer. And I am done looking at my process, so I'm just going to click the arrow, and this will take me back to the Build tab. This concludes our video, but please complete Exercise 8 and make sure that your process is working correctly before moving to the next video.